Today I'm going to go over how to very quickly build a simple and very inexpensive calcium reactor. So if you're looking for videos on hang gliding or scuba diving, this one's not for you. You're not going to be interested. It's only for people interested in keeping miniature reef tanks. I won't be going into the details on how to run or tune a calcium reactor. Plenty of other folks have, have talked about that. This particular calcium reactor could probably uh, uh, operate on a 100 gallon tank well, even heavily stocked, uh, perhaps 200 gallon tank uh, uh, not as well stocked. Also, this calcium reactor is best run in a sump because it's not guaranteed to have uh, absolutely no leaks, which makes it simpler. So this is the basic image of the calcium reactor that I'm talking about. It's very simple to build. I'll just go over a few items. So calcium reactor uses a chamber that holds the calcium substrate, typically uh, crushed coral or some type of uh, calcium carbonate in a cylinder. So that's the cylinder here. And you need to hold it off the bottom of the, uh, of the cylinder with some type of support. And so that's what this is all about. It's just a piece of acrylic with some small pieces of uh, pipe glued to it. So I'll just drop that in. And it shakes into place. And then you need a piece of foam to keep the substrate off that. This is just a chunk of uh, filter material that you can buy and just cut to size. Just foam. And then from there you can pile the calcium reactor substrate inside the device. And then of course you need a cap. In this case it's just a PVC cap and a, a band to hold it in place. So this particular calcium reactor is made out of uh, some four inch PVC, but it also has a piece of uh, acrylic that matches up fairly well. So the bottom of this is just a simple PVC cap. This is a PVC uh, coupling and a four inch piece of PVC pipe. So for the PVC pieces, of course, you can use standard PVC solvent cement, but for the pieces that fit between the acrylic and the PVC, uh, standard PVC cement may not work well. So I've actually been using this material called White Marine Tex, um, uh, which is, is very inexpensive and fairly easy to use and makes a, a reasonably good seal. This particular calcium reactor is using a recirculation pump. It's an Eheim pump. I found those to work extremely well. And the recirculation loop is very high speed. And so this is moving material back and forth through this larger diameter line very quickly. And then also you're gonna have water coming in from your tank that comes in through this orange line, usually under pressure from a, from a return pump to your tank is the easiest if you can tee off of that and have it drip in. And then this particular uh, piece of tubing is just for the carbon dioxide coming in. If you use a slightly larger diameter line, you can actually use it as a bubble counter to see the bubbles of CO2 coming through the line. <coughs> Those all come into the bio and come into the uh, calcium reactor. And then of course, there's gonna be water coming out of the calcium reactor back into your sump. And that's just controlled by a very simple uh, 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 clamp on a flexible piece of tubing. So you can control that drip rate, get the pH down to about 6.5, which is about where most calcium reactor media will dissolve. I hope you all got something out of this. I think you'll see that it's very easy to build a simple calcium reactor that will work very well on a reef system.